class. Imagine this. You're having a birthday party with a big pizza. You and your friends want to share it equally. But here's the challenge. What if you need to cut the pizza into fractions and then divide those fractions again? How do we know how many slices each friend will get? Good day, grade five learners. Today, we will explore an exciting lesson in mathematics, dividing fractions using models. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to divide fractions by showing them through models like fraction bars, disks, or number lines. And guess what? You'll discover how this connects to real-life situations, like cooking, baking, or even preparing loot bags for a party. Before we dive into fractions, let's recall. Division means equal sharing. For example, Jen has 135 goodies and 15 party bags. How many goodies will each bag have? That's right, nine goodies per bag. Now, here's the twist. What if we replace whole numbers with fractions? How do we divide them? Let's try dividing two-thirds by one-third. Using our fraction model, let's count how many one-thirds are there in two-thirds. There are two. So two-thirds divided by one-third equals two. Here's another. A baker has three quarters of a pound of dough. Each croissant needs one eighth pound. How many croissants can he make? Since three quarters equals six eighths, there are six one eighth parts in three quarters. So the baker can make six croissants. Delicious math! Using number lines, the illustration below shows three quarters and eighths on a number line. There are eight equal jumps of eighths on a number line, so there are six equal jumps of eighths on the number line. Therefore, the baker can make six croissants. Example 2. Divide one half by one quarter. How many fourths or one quarter is there in one half? There are two quarters in half. Therefore, one half divided by one quarter is equal to two. Find the quotient. Nine tenths divided by two fifths equals n. Let's illustrate nine tenths and two fifths. How many two fifths are there in nine tenths? Notice that two-fifths equals four-tenths. Therefore, nine-tenths divided by two-fifths equals two and one-quarter. Now it's your turn. Try these problems using models. Six-sevenths divided by one-seventh equals what? Five-eighths divided by five-sixteenths equals... 2 thirds divided by 1 fifth equals. Draw fraction bars, use disks, or number lines to solve. Remember, you're counting how many groups of the divisor fit into the dividend. Today we learned that dividing fractions is just like dividing whole numbers. It's still about equal sharing, but with fractions, we can use models like bars, disks, and number lines to make it clear. Think about this. In baking or cooking, what happens if we don't measure ingredients properly? That's right, it might not taste good. That's why understanding fractions and division is important in real life. 
So next time you slice a cake or share a pizza, remember, you're actually doing math. Great job, grade five learners. Today, you discovered how to divide fractions using models like bars, disks, and number lines. Remember, division is all about equal sharing, and with fractions, models help us clearly see how many parts fit into another. Keep practicing, keep exploring, and never stop enjoying the fun of learning math. See you in our next lesson, and remember, math is easy when you see it in everyday life. With the guidance of your teacher, do this activity.